Now this is a short video segment to uh, make you aware of an uh, important fact that uh, is the equigenicity of the uh, liver and that of the kidney. As we know, let me say that the equigenicity of the renal parenchyma should be either equal to that of the liver or less than that of the adjacent liver parenchyma. In this case, what we are seeing is that the, liver, uh, the renal parenchymal ecogenicity has gone up, as to, is raised uh, as compared to the adjacent liver. Now, it, this means that, uh, ca does this mean that the liver parenchymal ecogenicity is raised and the kidney is diseased? Now, before deciding this, make sure that the liver is normal. If the liver is normal, and we get this thing, uh, I mean the ecogenicity of the inner cortex is become more as compared to the liver ecogenicity, provided that the liver ecogenicity is normal, then we will say that, well, yes, the kidney, yeah, there is <coughs> the kidney is the uh, diseased organ. But in this case that I am going to show, I am showing you, uh, in fact, you see, the liver is not normal. Why the liver is not known? Because we can see that the liver is giving a starry appearance, thereby suggesting that the ecogenicity of the liver parenchyma has gone down significantly because of some infective process or congestion. <coughs> this, these are minor photovoin radicals uh, seen very prominent, giving a starry appearance to the liver which we don't see normally. And because the ecogenicity of the river has gone down, that is the reason that we are seeing the ecogenicity of the real parenchyma uh, being globally raised, diffusely raised. <coughs> because when the sound waves travel and they strike the uh, real parenchyma and go back, they travel through this type of a liver, a congestive liver or an infective liver or a toxic liver in which bacteria are producing exudates and uh, there is few, uh, there is some few within it because of the toxins and uh, fluid produced by the bacteria. <coughs> the sound waves travels with uh, more speed through this type of a liver as compared to the normal liver parenchyma and because of its increased frequency and uh, transmission to such liver parenchyma, the uh, liver, uh, sorry, the renal parenchyma uh, will appear more ecogenic as compared to the, of the normal. However, there is nothing wrong compared with the liver, uh, sorry, uh, wrong with the kidney. Now, how can we prove it otherwise? That, then the trick is that uh, scan the kidney, avoiding the uh, liver, and ask the patient, what is the liver? I don't know. This patient can't turn, he is in severe pain. However, what we do is go to the prone position and then try to see the liver and the kidney. How do you compare the kidney parenchyma? With uh, the uh, with that of the next uh, the uh, this, the left kidney. Now you see you will feel a difference between both the parenchyma. Uh, compare it with that of the uh, of that uh, spleen. Compare it with the spleen. Compare it with the other kidney. The left kidney. Of, you see that the parenchymal ecogenicity of this kidney is less as compared to that of the right kidney. Uh, moreover, you can also compare with the pancreas. So this is an important point in the, uh, while you are working uh, <coughs> through such a case in which the uh, ecogenicity of the liver has gone down and you are seeing diffuse increase in the ecogenicity of the renal parenchyma. So kindly be aware of this thing. Uh, don't uh, label such cases as uh, having a liver disease, sorry, a kidney disease, it is because of this pathology that is, uh, that is in front of you, the diffuse decrease, that's the of the liver. 
Thank you very much.